Aha, it has started. Okay, so that this uh, review will be immortalized for all eternity and in thousands of years when the advanced civilization is looking at our ancient uh, puny race, they will find this recording and think, ah, they weren't even that good at Go either. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, okay. Um, so... It was a pretty good game. Um, so let's go first. The the part that Little Tiger was talking about was you had a chance in the bottom left. Um, oh, I have to go into review mode, don't I? Do, do, do. So after this, um, white plays the diagonal to try to make sure that black can't make a second eye at the bottom. And black has a cool uh, technique to actually secure a second eye down here, uh, which involves a squeeze. So maybe, maybe that's a hint and you'll be able to, uh, to find it. Um, the key is to involve your dead stones somehow. Any ideas? Ah, okay, so what black can do is push here, um, which threatens to uh, live in the corner, right? So if we're only looking at the... Right, exactly. If we're only looking at the corner, it doesn't work because white just kills the one stone. But there's this counter Atari. and then black can kill these two stones to live. Ah, so there was a chance, some chance. I think, um, unfortunately this misses it and it spoils the Aji. Well yeah, it's good you're trying to use the dead stones. Uh, B1. I think at this point in the game, oh, after the squeeze, aha, um, right, so that would be uh, end game, right? Probably something black would want to save as a co-threat. It's not urgent, but yeah, that's there too. So if white plays somewhere else, then black can descend and look for this co. Or actually, I guess this co. Either way. Oh, well, this co would be better because black takes first, so yeah. Um, so let's go back to the beginning, which I think was pretty good. I didn't think that um, you made any like big mistakes until um, you made one move really fast, and I think it was the start of the troubles. Uh -huh. So you play, so Black can respond here, which is like the proper move, but it's a little bit slow, so I think Black doesn't need to right away. Hmm. So you might consider playing a pincer here instead, um, because your cornerstone is not that weak. If it's the normal pattern, then you're a little bit flat on the bottom, but I don't think it's too bad because it's very strong. Aha. Or P2. 
then I think white would play the other side. Mm-hmm. I think maybe white would do this. White definitely, I think jumping would definitely be bad because um, this cover, normally you can play this cover when there's uh, if there's no black stones there then the cover is like the normal pattern but since black has helping stones already on the bottom whoops, uh, black should be able to just push and cut right away so I think white would either uh, go into the corner or play counter pincer or uh, double approach or whatever. Um, I don't think it's... you still had a decent position. Definitely I think if uh, if white goes into the corner now, now the pincer would be very good. Mm-hmm. That's true, but also white is fairly low. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Um, right. So maybe at the beginning, if this, um, if that's your feeling, then maybe at the beginning, maybe this approach move isn't your style. Maybe it would be better to play here, and then you can start to make a big area yourself, and white doesn't have anything. Uh, or I know Insung doesn't like it, but uh, I mean this is possible too to make a big area. Hmm. Then white usually approaches here. Maybe something like this happens. I don't know. In the I don't think you're behind in the actual game. Um, because, like, white still has weak points. There's black can maybe invade at A, or sometimes B, or uh, whoops, I made a mistake. <laughs> A or sometimes B, uh, but in this case I think A would be the proper one. Yeah. Um, instead of, oh, I play h5. That's possible. I think, actually, uh, I would prefer f5 because it's closer to this white weakness here at c6. So I feel like f5 gives some pressure to the left corner group. Yeah, white plays here, then I think maybe black could invade directly, or at the very least could play a move like this. Oh. Okay, so if how is white going to respond here? I, I don't know, if white... Well, if white plays here, then black should close off the corner, and this group becomes weak. Um, it's difficult to pressure d14 because um, well, I don't know. Let's say black does something like this to severely attack this group, or I don't know, something like this. This is like the normal shape. I don't know, it's pretty easy to handle this group because um, it's not surrounded. It still has, it can escape into this area, into this area, and it can still make eyes on the left. So I think black can treat it kind of lightly. The, whoops, 
sort of the point of this Joseki is not for black to make a like a solid group it's more for influence in the center so black doesn't have to let it become heavy so I uh, personally I would I think this one makes more sense than J5 after J5 then one peep and then white settles the bottom group aha uh -huh. so were you kind of you thought maybe white would play this or something like this to just completely close the corner Mm hmm well if we count it it's what ah ah <laughs> so it looks like about 21 points if white gets the whole thing because it's um, like three lines by seven or whatever so it's about 21 points and then in the upper left white's corner is about 15 oh mute <laughs> mew the cat says hello um, yeah, and I think Black should immediately play this to close off the bottom right corner. Then Black's bottom right corner is almost as big as White's bottom left corner. Plus, Black still has this corner, and this group, and this group. And White's group on the bottom is a little bit weak. It looks like it can be attacked. Uh, I'm not sure how white would respond to something like this. Black can make a big area on the right side too. So as I think, um, I think Insung would probably say that black J5 doesn't give any pressure, <laughs> whereas uh, F5 gives a little pressure <laughs> to the the left side group. Pincer. And this is the right pattern. Presha, yes. Give a presha. <laughs> so sometimes um, black normally doesn't play this immediately unless the right side is really important but this is like the slow the Japanese term is hante I think move to uh, solidify the right side influence and it reduces like it eliminates all of white's forcing moves uh, well I guess this is kind of a forcing move but but anyway this is possible and so after you played the shoulder hits you played P10, but I was expecting, I thought you might play this, um, because in the game after P10, I played these right away to all of a sudden um, sort of break into the, the influence on the right. Like white could play something like this to solidly connect and then the right side is reduced. So I thought if black played here then all of a sudden this the right side, the A area, it looks really big for black. So I think at this point white has to... I don't know. It looks like white has to invade somehow. Uh, probably not... probably something like this would be too deep. This is like do or die. So probably white would want to play something higher and lighter um, uh, what do you mean the wrong order you think after M3 then P3? 
Aha. And then like this. So basically it prevents white in the game white made a pretty good shape and black R2 isn't sente anymore so if you exchange P3 first probably go like this hmm. all right Hmm. Oops. So I think, I don't know, it's like, I think you played in the right area. I think uh, the right side is definitely Black's biggest area, so uh, playing a move sort of in this area to make it bigger, uh, I think that's a good idea. But. I don't know. I think just extending here would have been stronger cuz then the A group, oh whoops. <laughs> the A group is super thick and white can still push through on the bottom. But uh black can just give it away. Just give one stone away, no problem. Aha. Have you watched um, Insung's uh, video on this shape? The invasions on this shape? I think, was it this season? I think it was season 10. But maybe not. I don't remember. Um, I think it's very useful because this shape comes up all the time. Um, so I don't know if you've seen B12 before. Yeah. I think so. I think that's the one it was. I know I've watched it fairly recently, so I think it was from this season. Okay. Um, so I would definitely recommend uh, taking a look at that one when you have the time. Um, because especially... So if we go back, uh, white played this approach and black didn't respond. The normal way if if black wants to respond would be to play here uh, but black didn't <coughs> whoops so later white can invade and it's much more severe because black doesn't have a stone here on e10 so then this move obviously it's um, this is a cool move. I like this like iron pillar descent because it looks for A and B to connect either to the upper left group or the bottom left group. I think it's really cool. I saw um, Ilya play this, Ilya Shikshin, in a KGS game. I think it was like the like two or three months after I started playing uh, Go and I just thought it was the coolest thing ever <laughs> that this kind of weird move has these two different uh, connecting points. So in this case, um, black really cares about the center and influence. So I think it would probably be best to play this. White will connect to the upper left. And then hmm, black can play maybe this if black is trying to develop the center or maybe here <laughs> to try to uh, uh, cause some trouble in the bottom left yeah I see um, it's good it's a good idea, but I think black is too weak in the area because um, there's like a a big weakness here, this Hane, and white has still two options to connect, and also 
um, your invading stone is pretty weak. Um, so I think, I don't know, I thought that um, c6 was kind of your first big mistake because it's like white played two moves to attack your uh, left side group but you played somewhere else to create another weak group so now it feels like black has two weak groups on the left side and it's going to be difficult to handle I think, um, also, so if your goal was to, if your goal was to play something like this, and then, I, I think if this kind of sequence occurs, white will just play here. Yeah, once you go, uh, white's probably not going to play this to take the corner, because then black can capture the two stones. So, I think white would connect like this, and then after this, now if you if you think the corner is the biggest area, now you could take it. Um, although this is still, this is a lingering worry. So probably black would have to connect the group together like this. So... If you compare it to the original shape before the invasion, I think black up to this point got a fairly good result because black makes black has some kind of base on the left side. It looks like black will be able to make at least one eye there and black is connected. So it's not it's not really easy to attack. Also, black reduced white's corner a little bit, but in return white made a lot of territory. Uh, in the upper left, all this territory. So I think it would be okay. But playing here, I think this was a pretty big overplay because after white plays d7, it looks like I <laughs> it looks difficult because now uh, the a group is completely cut from the b group, and there's weaknesses on both. So I think, so if black plays a, a simple move like this, white connects. Now, now that black is stronger with this A group, maybe now black can look for this invasion. Um, so it's like defend and get strong first and then attack. Because now you don't have to worry so much about, uh, about the A group. Uh, when I... I've lost some games against the seven, uh, blah, a seven Don at my local club over the last month or two, and I always I do the same thing <laughs> where I get too aggressive and I try too much early on, and he just plays calm, safe moves like solid shapes, and then eventually I collapse. Um, so here I think. Black should just do this to um, live in the corner and sacrifice the um, the the two stones on the outside, especially because um, this A group it's not too weak because if I don't know if later on uh, if White pushes. It looks like um, Black will be able to endure. It's not too painful. So I think it's okay to sacrifice the F3 and E4 stones at this point to live in the corner. Um, but after this, I think by my reading, the Black's group is just completely dead. Um, it, maybe it would be possible if black draws back, oh, black should draw back here, I think. Wait, then, oh, that would die. 
like so. I think if black draws back, uh, white defends, then this, it looks like white would like to play here to capture the stone, but it doesn't really work because of this. Uh, well, actually, I think the ladder is good for white. Maybe, I don't know, either way, this is going to be really painful. Uh, even if the ladder doesn't work, black could play a squeeze like this to sacrifice the left side, but take overwhelming influence in the center. Um, so even if white, is, uh, blah, 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 even if black isn't able to kill these stones, I think black can still get a good result. E6. Oh yeah, that that too. Atari, Atari, and just kill these three stones. That's simple. Or four stones, I guess. Counting to four. <laughs> Difficult. Um, so white has to play on the other side. Black draws back. White connects. And then, oh, this is essential life and death. This is also from this season <laughs> of AYD. Black has the 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Um, but there's... I think it, it can be... Since these two liberties are still open, I believe black can live in Gote. If, if it's like this, then it's dead. Um, so it's, I guess it's possible to live, but it wouldn't really, it wouldn't be a great result because uh, it's really difficult to handle black's A group now that white is super strong on the left. Um, so maybe, so in the, the result you got in the game, I think was after making the mistake of c6 and going after the corner, I think you recovered fairly well. <laughs> ah, German keyboards. Ah, why do they have to change the <laughs> location of the apostrophe? So if black plays b1, ah, Swedish, okay, sorry. <laughs> Um, uh, if black plays b1 and white goes down, then c4 here. H2. Sente, yes. So black can play this in endgame. This is pretty big endgame uh, Sente. Or can use it as co threats. Um, either that or if white really wants Sente, white could just play this and black can capture and live in the corner, but there's no sente moves on the outside. So white can take another big point. Uh, actually, I think this this must be much better than the other result, because white has sente and black doesn't get as much territory. Yeah, this is much better for white. Mm-hmm. Um, so at, after this point, I would say the game is pretty difficult for black, 
but still possible. Um, but Black was making a a lot of influence. Like it seemed like the like Black strategy was to make a big uh, territory in the center and on the right side. But oops, <laughs> when White gets this really solid wall in Sente facing towards the center, then it gets a lot more difficult to develop the center. So it's a little bit difficult. Um, this turn, I think, is not too big at this point. Um, like, Insung would probably say at this point, Black plays this turn, but how many points did Black get it, right? <laughs> um, it's not that big because White can still play here to, redu <laughs> to reduce the upper side. If you imagine that instead if black already had a stone here, um, then descending at h17 would immediately make like at least 10 points, right? But it's kind of like when, when the position is like this, white, neither side can make a lot of points up in this ABC area. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I'm messing up all the hotkeys today. <laughs> Uh, neither side can make a lot of points up here because both players can play a move around h17 and both players can play a move around m18 here and so it's kind of like both players have mii to cause the other person to make no points <laughs> so it's difficult to develop the top area um, and I would say that at this point after white makes the really thick wall, um, it makes, oops, it makes this group a lot weaker. Yeah, I think that would be good, or maybe black can even go one farther since it's a pretty strong shape. Um, the question becomes, is white able to push through on the bottom? So if you think white can't push through on the bottom, if you think um, if something like this is sustainable for black, then I think j8 would be the best move. Or as Little Tiger said, this would be the easiest way to just connect for sure so your group is strong. And then it turns this into a big point where black can make a lot of points. So I think white would probably white would probably take this immediately, I think. Um Aha. So this it looks like it's Whoops. If the A group had more liberties, this would be a really nice move because it looks like it's aiming the weakness of this Atari to cut and cause some troubles but because the A group is so short of liberties yeah and I think you probably realized it right after I played here you're like ah oh, darn I have to go back and uh, play a move back here yeah um, so it's good thinking but a little uh, like it's good that you were trying to use your opponent's weakness while making your own group stronger but just a little misread uh, so instead, I think when I was uh, like a Q player, I thought I didn't really understand moves like this because it seems like, what is this move doing? There's still like so many cutting points. White can cut or play this or wedge or whatever. Um, I didn't realize that the point of this is not to like save everything. The point is like to sacrifice you don't have to save everything in the area. Um, but this seems like Black's best way to stay connected with the J4 group. Uh, O15. Aha. Right now? Aha. 
So you're confident that the black group can live? <laughs> oh, play the c4. Aha, with this in your back pocket, I see. Um, so this definitely looks really severe to cut off the, cut off white's, oops, Aji stones. Um, but yeah, in order to play that, you need to be confident that you will be able to, well, let's see here. So black plays there, white plays here, black plays this. Uh-huh. Here, here. Ah, can't quite connect. Okay. Um, so probably. I think you didn't uh, see the squeeze sequence, right? Because uh, you missed it in the game. But, so assuming, so let's go back here. And since you, um, you weren't aware of the squeeze sequence, let's put, let's put a white stone here. So now there's, uh, I put it on C4. So now there's no Aji in the bottom left anymore. So I would say, like, since you didn't know about the squeeze, this is effectively like how the corner was. Um, and in this case, if black doesn't have that squeeze sequence, I think it's absolutely imperative to play a move around here. Um, this might just get cut. I think black white's wall is too strong on the on the left to play this. Um, this, it looks like black can still wriggle out if necessary, but hmm. after white plays this, it's really, really difficult on this group. So this is uh, like a key point. Even if, do, do, do. whoops, I'm getting lost here. So if this works, oh, whoops, I need to go back. Before that exchange, um, if black gets this point and white plays here, black plays here, and let's say white plays this to cleanly kill the five stones. Um, the A area versus the B stones. The A area is, well, black's going to get this, I don't know. Black's going to get like all this, right? Maybe not all that. Well, actually, black still has forcing moves, so I think it's okay. Um, but in comparison in the game after after this move to capture the stones. Still black didn't play there, and so I think this is the key point on the board because this group is, ah, <laughs> this group, it's got one eye for sure, but making a second eye looks difficult. Um, so by your reading here, did you think the group was alive? This is a pretty good life and death problem. I think black's best chance would be here, make the eye space bigger. 
then if white follows the proper way um, I guess either way works. Black's gonna have to play there. White push. Black has to block. White links. And then... Is this dead? So my reading was Seki if black plays this move, h8. Mm -hmm. I see. Um, and of course, getting a Seki on that group is really big. It's like 40 points. <laughs> So here I came back, uh, and now there's no chance. No chance. <laughs> I like, uh, I do insung impressions all the time, but <laughs> in real life, not many people <laughs> get them. <laughs> so it's fun to be able to do insung impressions with someone who gets them. <laughs> this is the proper way. <laughs> um,. So I think, <laughs> honestly, I think until this move, until C6, <laughs> oh, he's still giving lessons. Um, if you're in Europe, there's the European Yonku Seng Dojang, which I, I would highly recommend it. I think he's a great teacher. Um, and he does one in America also. Um, I think that until C6, I think the game is fairly good. Um, I think if black plays this way and then either looks for the invasion B or approach here, these look like the two big points for black, or maybe, whoops, maybe black could just play Maybe black could just play C directly and try to, um, well, actually I don't think that would be too good. I think white would just respond here. So maybe A to give pressure to white's upper side, uh, upper right corner, B to invade the bottom left, or something to build the middle. I don't know, something like C. I think it's still a reasonable game. Um, but yeah, after C6, the troubles began. <laughs> it's difficult after losing the corner like this. Mm. Do -do -do. Hmm. Maybe even at this point, maybe what if black plays here and lets white connect? And then black could play this, which is like the, what is it, uh, like eye stealing Tesuji or whatever? Um, Maybe black could play something like this in order to develop the center. Give away the, or, I mean, let white connect at A, but instead play for the center. Because that's where black's strength is. Uh, playing at B14 sort of led to white being able to make the big wall. Hmm. So... Okay. Did that help a little bit? Hopefully I didn't just uh, confuse you even more. <laughs> okay, cool. Cool. Um, I mean, Insong is both a, 
a much better player and a better teacher, but I hope that I can uh, help a little bit. <laughs> okay, cool. Cool. Um, all right, then thanks for the game, and I think I probably won't be around for group CD games on Thursday, but I wish you the best of luck. Yeah, you too. Bye-bye.